Katy Perry just gentrified Janet Joe Jackson. What have you done for me lately? And I'm pissed about it. Another person said, this is so disrespectful. And then she goes, another person said, artists perform other artists' songs all the time. She just didn't execute it well, though. Katy Perry, reptilian shapeshifter, clear as day. Those of you not familiar with this stuff, I recommend that you go look at your brain chart you will see that you are reptilian at the core of your brain. It shows you on every brain chart, and it's responsible for fight or flight. Now, make no mistake about it. You will be the slave class, the food class, and these guys will eat you. They will rape you. They will drink the blood of your children, and everybody you know is sleeping. Uh, people don't like to face this type of stuff because it's scary. I understand, but at some point, you're going to have to face the truth, people, that everything you've ever been told is a lie. Now, How the coping right now how are you coping what? right now she says what is this this is how you're coping this whole year the whole year has been destroyed by this evil president this is literally how they open an award show that's dedicated to music videos asking how people are coping with president trump who's been in office for seven months now she went on to lament about how much better her life would be if hillary clinton would have won the election and let me just point out that this isn't from six months ago. This show is from last Sunday. When Aunt Hillary Clinton becomes president, I promise to put out a timeless record that everybody loves. Great. You know what? You're a complete psycho, that's what. Watching Katy Perry host the VMAs was brutal. I was sitting with my friends and we all just like could barely even look. And, and it's also why we cringe so badly when we see other people embarrassing themselves. Like since I've been gone, you... You figured out all of the problems in the world right now, and the world is doing so well, right? Great. Everything is fine, great. These neurons are really important to us as humans and as pack animals, but the specific woman seeing embarrassment and having that feeling, the theory is that it's a way for us to learn not to do said thing without having to deal with the social or physical repercussions of it. So we got to chill at home, look at Katy Perry, no, we should never ever just keep going with that space joke over and over and over therefore we take that in we don't do that we learn from it and we become better people katie perry has been all over youtube lately to promote her new album i am a white supremacist no it's called witness now a lot of people have been hating on my girl katie pay lately and i want you all to know if you mess with my girl katie pay you mess messing with me, because what you're doing, it's disrespecting women. Sorry, women. Uh, you looked way more attractive before. Now you look like my grandma. Katy Perry, didn't you make fun of Britney Spears for cutting her hair? She's back with music, and she's here for Grammy. Should I leave? Should I leave? Well, the music was on. It was, there was a pause of new music for a moment. Yeah, that's called taking care of your mental health. How'd that go? Uh, fantastic. Would you have the dress? And I have to shave my head, yeah. I like your hair. But really, what she's doing here is is not making fun of Britney Spears, and she's not having a mental breakdown just because she's cutting her hair. She is actually copying my hair. Uh, she hit me up in the DMs last night. I, ha I have evidence of it. Uh, she basically wrote, Yo, dog, it's your boy, Carrie Ke Perry. Can I copy your hairstyle? You look hella swaggin' in it. Lit emoji, lit emoji, 100%, 100%. I, of course, said no. Katy Perry, fuck off, this is my hairstyle, but she did it anyway. Uh, I'm gonna let this one slide, only because I have so much respect for whamen. Some people were saying, uh, Katy Perry, you're a fucking idiot. <laughs> but you don't understand Katy Perry like I do, okay? She's not an idiot. So when she asks questions like... Is math related to science? <laughs> I love how love, love, even Neil stumbles for a minute. He goes like, what did this fucking bitch say? <laughs> is math related to science? Is math related to science? <laughs> is math related to science? What the fuck? That is the dumbest. I'm sorry, sorry. Some people were making fun of Katy Perry for making this statement. And it's horrible. Okay? There's no stupid questions. Okay? There's never been any stupid questions. Most people who could be born will never be born, will never even exist. So the fact like that- Like sperm. Oh my God, Katy Perry, you're so- Like sperm? <laughs> I, 
my mind is so advanced, so technologically pure, that I would never in my life ask such a stupid fucking question like, is math related to science? Is math related to science? What the fuck? And even in, you know, my intention to, like, appreciate Japanese culture, I did it wrong with a performance. And I didn't know that I did it wrong until... I heard people saying I did it wrong. And sometimes that's what it takes, is it takes someone to say, out of compassion, out of love, hey. Vsauce, Michael here. Oh! Oh! No! No! Japanese? I can't, I'm sorry, I can't defend K-Pay anymore. I've been defending her now for several minutes, but I cannot defend K-Pay after I've seen this despicable performance. The cultural appropriation is off the level. This is at least a level seven cultural appropriate. She knows nothing, but at least she knows that. No. Uh, I just don't understand this approach that she's taken, going all social justice to sell her album. It seems so pandering, it seems so opportunistic, and it seems so, to me, as another <laughs> artist, disgusting. I think it's disgusting. It's so easy. It's so easy to just go out and babble a bunch of shit about how we all should love each other and how, how cultural appropriation is bad. I've been seeing this for a while, and I'm just at the point where I'm like, Kitty, please just shut the fuck up. Now, if there's one thing I hate most in this world, it is artists that are only popular because they're hot. Exhibit A, Katy Perry. She has the three most important things that you need to be famous in this day and age. Now, is she hot? Check. Big boobs? Check. Crazy as shit? Check. Now, I hate to burst your bubble, my little Katy Perry fan, but Katy does not write her own lyrics. What? But Jared, she co-writes her lyrics. All right, now for two seconds, pretend I'm Katy Perry. If she had brown curly hair. Baby, you're a firework. Yeah, can we change that period to an exclamation point? Okay, perfect. Baby, you're a fire! Seriously, she's like fucking screaming that line. Baby, you're a fire! And if you're too ignorant and naive to believe me, then let me also be the first to tell you that Santa Claus is not real. Unless you're 10 years old and watching this video, in which case, Santa is real, I'm sorry. I'm... She got singly called copycat. She tweeted, it looks like green hair and mechanical horses are the thing now, with the infamous shady emoji. Gaga was referring to the fact that she showed up to the American Music Awards one year earlier on a giant white mechanical horse. Just heard a new song on the radio called I Hate Being Sober. I now have serious doubt for the world. And Chief Keith was not having it. He responded quite angrily several days later, saying things I don't even feel comfortable saying, so I'll just leave these here. Husband of the starlet and quite controversial in his own right, Russell Brand has had a few things to say about Katie. When he was performing a small stand-up gig in London, he joked about their sex life, saying, I'd be having sex thinking, think of anyone, anyone else. And in 2015, he released a trailer for his documentary called Brand, A Second Coming, in which he talks about living a life he detests while photos and videos of himself and Katie appeared on screen. Take a look. God, I'm living like this life. The very thing that I detest. Rapid, vacuous celebrity. Fame and power money is bullshit. I don't want to get all this up. I don't want the generic pop record that Kesha or Lady Gaga or Katy Perry could just do, you know, and everybody, it'll work. Hmm. I wanted a song that are songs that were on, on that were Rihanna song. It's the crappy, like, who wants a <laughs> Katy Perry record? I'm sorry. You know, you're going to get the two songs that are probably the hits that are good, yeah. but the rest of the album is going to be crap. She kept going saying she's not giving substance. She's just giving, you know, microwave popcorn for you to feast on right at this moment. And that's what she wants to do, obviously. She's not looking to change the world musically. She's not. Some observers stated that the eyewitness thing might be promoting her new album. Whatever the case may be, Katie is currently in deep Illuminati symbolism. After the Met Gala, Berry posted a picture on Instagram that managed, once again, to get a whole bunch of people riled up. The Met Gala performance featured Perry being held by the hands of unseen people, 
a great way of representing MK handlers. In the eye.